What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following me on Instagram or TikTok, you know that I am currently in India to do my wedding shopping. It's so weird because genuinely, I come back to India a lot, right? And I have a lot of family here, but that feeling knowing that you're coming back to wedding shop is a whole different feeling. I don't even know how to explain it, but I've been so excited to take you guys on this journey with me. That being said, I actually, when I landed into Delhi, and usually we stay with family, but this time we decided to stay in a hotel because there's so much going on with wedding shopping. We didn't want to be in anyone's way. So mom and I were like, let's just stay at a hotel. And we've been here for a while now. But anyways, the first day that we arrived to Delhi, mom actually stayed back and I ended up going to Jaipur with my family friends and my cousin. And we stayed at Rambagh Palace. I'm going to do a whole vlog that I posted like on TikTok for this video as well. So you guys can be on this journey with me. So I'm going to play that right now. Come with me to go back to my hometown of New Delhi, India to wedding shop. I cannot believe that I am saying that. Guys, so I go to India once a year or once twice in a year and I was literally there right before the pandemic and when I got back to Toronto we went in full lockdown so I haven't been back in a while and usually this is our routine every time we travel dad drops us off and we all hang out as a family Miku my cousin decided to come as well and so we hugged and just talked about life and all the excitement dad and I are about to be apart for a month which is a very long time and obviously mom got a little bit sad too but she's so excited she's going to India after a few years and and she just truly missed her family and fun fact i get a text from my friend before i headed on to the flight that she's on the same flight as me and she ended up sitting right beside me so nandani and i had a great time so i am completely seated i actually knocked out pretty much the whole flight and by the time right before i landed i was like yes i'm almost home oh and here's ambala on the map i still need to go visit my birthplace guys i don't know if you can relate but that feeling of landing in india i don't know what overcomes me truly so many emotions of love and happiness and now i'm so excited to take you guys on this new journey with me when we landed into Delhi, our family friends had actually arranged a couple of people to help us with our bags to go to the hotel. Usually we stay with family all the time when we're here, but this time because we're wedding shopping, I was like, I don't want to be in anyone's way. It's just easier this way. So mom and I checked into the hotel, but truthfully, she actually stayed um, back and just hung out in bed and then saw her family. And I actually left literally within the same day. I only had like a couple of hours of sleep and I left to go to Jaipur. So Karthik, Kanika, who are a brother and sister, and my cousin Sachi, we ended up heading to Jaipur. And here I am at Karthik and Kanika's place. And these are their dogs, Oriho and Fudge. Well, they're family's dogs. And then we got to the airport and met up with my cousin Sachi. And I was just so excited because I've always wanted to go to Rajasthan. Also, poor Karthik, he's six foot five and he was put at the back of the plane. Kanika here is freaking out because she hates turbulence. Anyways, we landed into Jaipur and all I could think of was all the songs from Hamsa Sathe. And I'm like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. If you know what I'm talking about, you know exactly what I mean. When I landed at the airport, I was told that there's a big surpri surprise for me um, at the hotel. And oh my God, this was so beautiful. There was an elephant, camel, full on Rajasthani dance. I didn't know what to do because I was like, I've never been serenaded like this. I didn't know how to react. I didn't know if I was supposed to dance or anything. But this was so beautiful and so colorful. And I was truly just mesmerized. I literally wanted to cry as we walked up the steps I got serenaded again with beautiful rose petals and I was like damn like this is the best feeling ever it's such a welcoming feeling especially you know at a location that you don't know anybody you don't have family in Jaipur and they just every single hotel employee treated you like family and they were just so gracious and so welcoming and I absolutely love that and I just wanted to wear a lenga and run around in this whole palace. We were so exhausted, but we got a small little tour. And that being said, we got to see this beautiful restaurant, which has French and British architecture. And it was Indian fine dining. And I was so excited because I saw the menu and I'm like, yes, I want a Rajasthani plate. I really want to eat a full Rajasthani meal. Here we are heading towards our rooms. And this is mine and Sachi's room. It was the historical suite. So spacious. And I always say this to everybody around me. I'm like, Indian hospitality is truly unmatched. If you've experienced it, you know exactly what I mean. 
the room was spacious the bedroom was just stunning you feel like a princess and look at the amount of closet space like all your bags and suitcases can go right in there and the washroom was literally jaw-dropping the marble the architecture and the high ceilings like everything is unmatched and they had a little cute surprise for me when i got into the room with my instagram and a couple of desserts anyways we headed to dinner and i was so excited and by the way this is the best meal i've ever had Day two of being in Jaipur and Kanaka told us to come running into a room in the morning because there was a peacock. I was so excited. We headed for breakfast and on the way to breakfast, guys, there was this man playing all these beautiful sounds on his flute. And this just truly added to the royal and vintage vibes that Rambag really has. And this right here was actually the main entrance before Taj Hotel had kind of turned it into a hotel. And they created a whole side entrance, which you had seen in the previous vlog. We walked through the garden. We took a little bit of a tour. And in this garden, you can see peacocks actually flying around above, hopping from tree to tree. Then we went shopping. We had a car drop us off. And then we took a rickshaw on the inner routes, which was pretty amazing. I've been on rickshaw so many times. I just love riding them. And then Sachi was just busy with all these business calls, handling a lot of things for me. And guys, seeing this peacock with his feathers completely flared out, you know what that means. But this just got me so excited because I've always wanted to see that. Later on at night, we just went for dinner once again at the palace. But this time we went to its adjacent hotel, which is Sawai Man Mahal. And to get back to Rambag, they brought us back in golf carts. I was like, this is amazing. This whole area of Sawai Man Mahal is done like a complete villa style. So you don't even feel like you're in Jaipur or anywhere in India anymore. Anyways, that's day two. So let's get on to day three. Day three in Jaipur, obviously we were at Rambag Palace and this was our last day. And while we were having breakfast, this man came again with his talented self playing the flute. It was so amazing to wake up to. Kanika, Sachi and I decided we wanted to go check out the spa. And while we were there, we got to see Gayatri Devi's pool. She used to have a swing set right above it and would just swing back and forth, like complete princess royalty vibes. Here is the outdoor pool and there's a hot tub on the left side. I just love this whole property. Like it is stunning from like beginning to to end so we decided we wanted to get foot massages and when i tell you i had the best foot massage i've ever had in my life for 45 minutes i knocked out the ambiance was so nice in these spa rooms then when we went back to rambag itself it was so beautiful because they wanted me to take a ride in the vintage car and this vintage car was made in 1936 and in here like in this car we've had like queen elizabeth lady Di. Uh, Jacqueline Kennedy so many people have been in this vehicle which is so amazing and you just think about all the history so we did a little quick tour originally when I came they wanted to do a whole thing where we sat in the vintage car had horses beside us pulled up and then there would be the elephants and the camels there and Rajasthani music but we weren't able to do that because the weather was just really really bad that day it was raining a lot so we also went to go see Swai Man Mahal which is the hotel adjacent to Rambag itself this hotel is done like a complete villa style so it felt like a very like Spanish villa type of vibe and it was really nice because you get your own space and some of the villas have their own pool which I thought was amazing like walking in while you're checking in you walk in to your room and you have a pool you can go into it at night morning whenever you like so that was really stunning and these rooms are also very very spacious like when you walk in you know you have enough room for your bags and there's a really big closet space and a massive washroom which is perfect to get ready in now we're heading out because we are officially leaving Jaipur. this was such a wonderful experience and now on to delhi for wedding shopping in Jaipur, there were so many places to shop. I ended up buying so many different outfits, a lot of outfits that I would wear for after the wedding. There are a lot of local markets there. And genuinely, I have to say that I am floored at the way Jaipur is. I think it's such a beautiful city. You feel the royalty, the vintage and regal vibes there. Also, there's a brand called Pichika. I I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I got this beautiful pastel-y, purpley colored outfit from there, well, lilac colored outfit, and absolutely stunning. So go and check that place out. But then there was a lot of places where I actually bought sarees, and I'll tell you the names of it. I just can't remember it right now, but I know that I have the names written somewhere. So probably I'm gonna put a little note right down here so you guys know where you need to go. By the way, it is currently 
11 o'clock in the morning I actually only slept a couple of hours because I woke up super early and went and shot some amazing pictures and videos with my friend Danish his Instagram is travel by Danish please go check him out because he's absolutely phenomenal I actually found him on social media like two years ago and we've been messaging ever since and to work with him it's been an absolutely beautiful experience so if you guys want to shoot anything while you're here in India or even anywhere else please look at his account and check him out and do contact him guys so I'm here with Danish Hi, Vaughn. <laughs> I've always wanted to work with him I've been following his work for the past two years go check him out because his work is absolutely phenomenal so today we're shooting we started at seven o'clock in the morning and already I'm in love with the content. So go check them out, trust me. Day one, shopping in Delhi. So I'm not gonna mention the designers that I've chosen. I'm gonna mention a bunch of designers that we went and saw and some that we met with, but I'm not gonna mention anything else because I don't wanna give it away. I'm gonna let you guys guess. So day one, we went shopping in Meroli. Meroli is actually my dad's hometown. That is where he was born and then he shifted to a home in Housecast. So being in Meroli is just an absolute wonderful experience now a lot of designer stores are there Meroli's really really changed over time like it has become the more like hip side of Dili and there you have Sabya Sachi, Ripple Heartbreed, Manish Mahotra, Anita Dongre, there's Pernia pop-up shop, there's Aza Fashions, there's Dolly J, there's so many different designers there day one wedding shopping in Delhi so I was so excited and nervous but also really tired I just come back from Jaipur and mom had a lot of butterflies in her stomach as well but we were so excited to have this new chapter so we went straight to Rimple and Harpreet when I tell you guys this whole place 11 out of 10 vibes aesthetic the designs clothing the interior everything curated by Rimple here we are with her team and here's Rimple herself we had a wonderful meeting with her she had just come back from the Ambani wedding so that was really cool to talk to her about that as well and if you guys are ever in Delhi please come and check out this store and of course i had to take a beautiful photo with rimple anyways i didn't realize how short this video is bye there was also falgani shane there's so many in that location but when i tell you walking into these stores and just feeling the vibe like i was getting emotional family was getting emotional but walking into these stores each one has a different vibe right so like abina mishra has a different vibe Savia Sachi is going to have a different vibe. Rimple and Heartbreed are going to have a different vibe. Manish Mahotra and so on, whatever, all of that. But it's just so beautiful how every vibe is just so different. Like when you walk into Sabia, you're like, holy. Like you see the chandeliers, you see the walls, you see every little detailing. Like he is in absolute genius he killed it. And also the jewelry pieces, I checked some of them out at Sabia. They were insane like so stunning they have this one like choker piece and comes down all the way down to here that was one hell of a jewelry piece but yeah for outfits and all of that sabia is really amazing and once again i have to say i said it online on my social media indian hospitality is completely un matched like genuinely be it in hotels be it in restaurants or be it in you know these stores like the hospitality is so unmatched when you walk into Manish Mahotra you're like okay this is Bollywood that is a complete vibe like as you're walking in you're just like damn because you remember some of the outfits that a lot of these big movies have used and a lot of them are Manish Mahotra like I'm thinking of like Kabi Kush Kabi Gam or like even like Rocky or Rani and all that you see all the outfits and I think oh my god like I don't even know how to explain it to you you just feel like you're in a Bollywood movie when you walk in Rimple and Heartbreak when I tell you this store's aesthetic is so vintage, so regal, so royal, and the music that was being played was all chosen by the designer herself. The music was like old school Punjabi music. And I was like, this is literally adding to the touch of wedding shopping. And then you have stores like Tarantelani, which, you know, you walk in and all I kept thinking was, I don't know why I kept thinking of the Ambani wedding. That's all I thought of. Gaurav Gupta is also there. Pernia's pop-up shop has so many different designers. If you are shopping, it is a really good place for you to go to and all the designers are there. There's so many different ones. By the way, I'm so sorry if you hear my mom coughing. She got really sick. Well, she didn't get really sick. She just drank something really cold and she's had a cough that she can't shake away. Yeah, and then there's Dolly J. Dolly J was a smaller, looked like more of a boutique store, but the outfits you walk in and you see the mannequins, your jaw is literally on the floor. Falgani Shane is Falgani Shane. You walk in, 
and you look at the outfits and you're like, I just want everything. So yeah, we got to see many designers and that was a wonderful experience. Also, when I left Sabia, I had to also buy a belt because I really wanted to get the Sabia belt because it's stunning. So I got one in tan and I've been wearing it. I've been getting compliments with it. So go check out even the tiniest pieces at Sabia are just then on another day, we went to the Han Mill, which has like Seema Gujral, Abhinav Mishra, Pao Singhal, and so many other designers. Went to Abhinav Mishra. Personally, I thought I would like a lot of the outfits because I see them online. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to probably find something that I might like for the Sangeet or anything like that. But I don't think I really clicked with Abhinav Mishra and that's totally okay because I walked in, felt the vibe went through the outfits i wasn't really connecting with what i had in mind so unfortunately i did not end up even going with them but their pieces are stunning just didn't match what i had in my head but i went to all the other designers as well in the mill and guys bile you know i've worn bile so many times her pieces are just so amazing like there's something really good for your mendi for your haldi for your chunni so she has a lot of beautiful colorful pastel -y outfits and i just love that they're so comfortable to wear like the sharadas and the tops there's a lot and then seema gujral you walk in and you're like damn like all these outfits are heavy all these outfits are so detailed that all you want to do is just wear each one and just spin around in them like that's the only way i know how to describe it Day two of wedding shopping in Delhi. We went to this area called Dhan Mill. So it was Sachi Kanika, my mom and I. And of course, we had to go to Bile Sankhal. If you guys don't remember, I've worked with Bile twice before. Her outfits are totally worth it and jaw dropping and just so unique. And I love them. We also visited Seema Gujral. By the way, guys, I'm not going to tell you exactly what designers or what customizations or anything that I'm doing, but I'm taking you on the journey with me. I know I've dropped like hints and stuff like that. You might find maybe one a designer company that I might be working with or anything, but I definitely don't want to give it away. But yes, if you go to Seema Gujral, she has outfits that match every single aesthetic and she will not disappoint you. And also Abina Mishra, they have so much mirrored work. So if you're looking for something like that, this is the place that you want to go to. And by the way, the store itself is stunning. And of course, we have to go see the king of Bollywood, Manish Mahotra. When you walk in, you will feel like every Bollywood movie you have watched since you were a kid and Manish Mahotra had designed those outfits. You are looking Looking at that you will get the true Bollywood essence and feel and any outfits that you've seen any of your favorite Bollywood actresses in you're definitely going to recognize that also if you hear any yelling that's my dad and my nephew just playing with each other outside he's riding his bike Taj is just all over the place anyways there's mom and my cousin Sachi having cha and we were just waiting for myself to try on some pieces then we had to go to see Sabya Sachi and if you have seen Sabya Sachi New York you know the aesthetic you know how beautiful it is but the one in the Lee, it was top tier the car carpeting the chandeliers the design the work every single detail in the store as well as the outfits just breathtaking so there was a set that i really wanted to try on and they're like oh you want to try on this set okay it's just 35 lakhs and i was like oh 35 lakhs i converted it it was like sixty thousand canadian dollars i was like okay i'm just gonna try it on and put it back but anyways that's all the time i have for this vlog i'll see you in the next one so two places are in meroli um where i told you about sabia and all and then the other place is dhan mill those are the two locations that i've been shopping at i also did shop in rajori market for my chuda and I'll explain more detail on that later in another video. And then I did some other shopping just through local markets. And mom's been shopping every single day. Like she doesn't even stay home. She's just been out every day. I've had moments where I've been like, okay, I just need to mentally wrap my head around what's happening and just relax a little bit. And I'll stay back and she's just out there shopping and having fun. I'm pretty sure that you saw in the video, I posted video footage, vlogs back and forth a little bit. So I'm trying to cut up the pieces because I did not shoot horizontally i shot all vertically because i'm a dumbass but anyways thank you guys for joining me on this journey and i will talk to you guys more about wedding shopping in more detail but those are the locations that i would genuinely recommend if you're looking for like designers but also there's so many places that have stunning outfits and other designers that are very up and coming like shopper jot shopper jot was amazing walking through that all the clothes you're looking left and right you're like everything is stunning you want to be there you want to walk through there you want to try on outfits there again hospitality amazing and you can get a lot of the, uh, a lot of stuff from like johnny junk lachpat nagar rajori garden rajori garden has so much so there's so many shopping places so if you are coming to delhi and you are a 2024 bride or 2025 bride 
do check out those areas. Once again, designers are Hun Mill, Miroli, and Defense Colony is another location. And then for other stores and up and coming designers as well, Shopper Jat, other stores, Johnny Joke, which is a whole market, it's not a store, Lajput Nagar, Rajori Garden. You will be frazzled if you do not know how India is and how Delhi is particularly or even like Bombay 